Uh, public art does something really special that other things can't do. It makes people curious and ask questions. If an artwork um, is good enough, it can start conversations off with people who visit. Um, simple questions like, what is it and why is it here? And that's where people start digging into the history and find out more about what makes it and how special. When we did the public consultation, most people said they came here for the quietness and the views. And that's very important in the decision making of how we approach the public art. What is special about this place is its peacefulness. And that's what we're really pleased to retain. We use Beechinghurst as an example. When that was established some 20, 30, 25, 30 years ago, it was very much a, um, just a part of the forest. It's now a sculpture trail leads there. That, that if you go there at any time of the day, lots of people are, are attending Beechinghurst because of the sculpture trail. Now, if we can get the same sort of effect here, there are very few people here at the moment, but with the artwork that's being proposed to be put in, which will reflect the, the geology of the area, but also the industrial heritage of Lydney Harbour, it should encourage more people to come around. It's serene, it's a beautiful site, um, and we're hoping that more and more people will use it, which is why we've got the cafe set up and um, all the other things. The artwork, I think, will encourage people to come to Lydney Harbour.